Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, my name is Blair. Today's video is just a very casual get ready with me. It's Saturday and I'm just sitting here and I put on some makeup so I figured I would share it with you guys. Very simple skin, minimal eye makeup and I hope you enjoy. I have some coffee here and if you're interested in getting ready with me, please keep watching and let's get started. First we'll start out with sunscreen and today I really want to use a tinted sunscreen. Whenever I do pretty lightweight minimal makeup I like to use a tinted sunscreen so today I'm going to use the one from CeraVe. This is the hydrating sunscreen with SPF 30 and it is tinted. I like this sunscreen a lot. Uh, I will say it does work better for me this time of year rather than the winter time uh, just because the tint on me can be a little dark uh, but right now I have a little more color than normal so it should work fine. The sunscreen is really nice. It is more of I would say a dewier sunscreen uh, so like as you can see there's a good bit of shine on my face. It does It does dry down a little bit but not a ton so if you don't like that kind of shiny look from a sunscreen, you probably wouldn't like this one. Okay, I'm going to pull my hair back because my hair is freshly washed and it's just kind of getting in my way. Okay, so now that we've got our sunscreen on, you know what is coming next. It's corrector and we're going to use Charlotte Tilbury today. The Magic Vanish in shade number two. You may notice that my background looks different today. Uh, I'm kind of, I've said this a few times in other videos, but I'm kind of working on revamping my office a little bit. Uh, you, If you watch my videos, you'll know a lot of the times you can see my vanity mirror behind me. And uh, I'm just kind of over that look, as weird as that sounds. I loved that mirror when I got it, but so interesting because it's kind of one of those things where I have it and it's pretty but it just kind of sits. I never use it because I'm always facing the windows like I am now because I love to use natural light for makeup. So I feel like it's just kind of a prop that's just sitting there. I don't know. I'm trying to go for more of a minimalistic vibe like I've told you guys in my last few videos. So I'm thinking of getting rid of my vanity, so that's why it's not sitting back there. Um, I just want something more simple, and I just don't feel like I need it to just sit back there and serve no purpose because I don't use it. So anyway, if you're wondering, that's why my background looks different. Now I am going to take my finger and just blend that in. Today is literally the perfect filming weather. It's not too bright and sunny, but it's not cloudy or overcast. It's just such a perfect filming day. I love it when I wake up like that, or when I wake up and this, the light conditions are just perfect. If you film videos, you know what I mean. Some days it's just so much easier to get your videos to look right and a lot of it has to do with the weather. If you use a lot of natural light, which I do, I'm going to apply just a tiny bit more uh, to the inner portion of my eye because I feel like I need it today. Okay, for the face today, we are going to use something new that I want to share with you guys. I was recently gifted a few products from Merit Beauty and we're going to be using a few of them today. The first one is the complexion stick and first of all if you order anything from Merit Beauty they come in this cute little gold bag so you could use this as a purse or whatever you want. Um, it just unfolds or it ties like this and then 
you have all of your products in here and they even have like a little merit label on the inside it's just really cute so they reached out to me and offered to send me a few things which i'm so grateful so thank you so much to merit for reaching out to me and sending me these things it just makes literally makes my day if i ever get an email from anybody so thank you so so much for doing that and we're going to use a few of these things today so merit if you're not familiar is a new brand they recently launched in sephora they're a clean beauty brand they're vegan and cruelty free they launched with i want to say seven different products uh, and it's kind of the whole idea of a minimalistic beauty routine so less is more and just really natural your skin but better makeup so I, that was so intriguing to me so i could not wait to try some of their products so the first thing we're going to use is the minimalist perfecting complexion stick so it comes in this blue box and i have tested this i just couldn't i couldn't wait for the video i just couldn't so this is what the packaging looks like it's really pretty very minimal which i love one thing i will say one of my first impressions of these products is that they are so aesthetically pleasing. And I don't just mean the makeup, like the way it looks on you. I mean just the packaging and the branding of Merit I love. It's just it's a very cohesive, simplistic brand. And I just, that really appeals to me. Okay, so we're going to use the complexion stick here. So I have the shade Sand. So it comes in a little stick like this and you twist up from the bottom to get more of your product. So this is supposed to be a foundation and a concealer stick. They don't have an individual concealer in the line yet. So you're supposed to be able to use this all over your face. This color I'll swatch for you is definitely a little dark for me, but this is okay when I have a little bit of a tanner on. We'll go in with this first so I'm just gonna swipe it so it's very very creamy I'm gonna put some on my neck as well since it's a little bit dark for me and they do actually have a foundation brush I don't have the brush but it's very similar from what I've seen to, let me see if I can get it, this one, the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush. It's a little small kabuki looking brush, so I'm going to use this today to blend this out. So we'll just start blending, and it blends in really, really easily. As you'll see, it does not take a lot of work to blend. So like I said, I've used this a few times and it's definitely a buildable product, I would say. So if you go in with a little bit and you want more coverage, you can definitely add more on top and it doesn't get cakey or anything because it's so, so lightweight. It's a very no fuss kind of makeup product. So there it is all blended in. I would say right now it's kind of a light to medium coverage. We're going to add a little bit more and I'll show you that it does build up a little bit. So we'll take this stick again. So Merit was founded by Katherine Powers. I believe she is also the founder of Who, What, Where. And I was reading a little bit about why she made the brand and since it's so new, I just didn't know anything about it really. And she, I was reading an article and she was saying how she made it when she was pregnant um, because she wanted something that she felt comfortable using during pregnancy in terms of makeup. And that's when Merit kind of came to be, which I thought was really cool. Okay, so there it is. So to me, it's very skin-like. It's not makeup-y looking at all. 
I really like it. I would not use that particular shade under my eyes because I just think it's going to be too dark. But if I had a lighter shade, I think you could absolutely use this one under your eyes because it's so thin. So I am really, really enjoying this. I'll probably end up buying a lighter shade for me just because I really enjoy it. For a concealer today, I'm going to use this one from Pat McGrath. This is the Sublime Skin Fetish, or Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer. I can never remember the name of this. And so we're going to apply a little bit of this under my eyes, tiny bit on the outer corner, a little on the cheek area, and then just a little in the center of my face. Now I'll just use my same Bobbi Brown foundation brush. Okay, and then I'm just going to use a Real Techniques brush for my concealer. This Pat McGrath concealer is so Nice. Now this is a pretty full coverage product, I would say, because I'm not using very much and you can see the coverage that it gives, but I don't mind that under my eyes because we all know I have some, some dark circles under there. Now we've got our concealer on and we'll move on to a little bit of a bronzer. So we're gonna use this. This is the Tower 28 Bronzino in the shade West Coast. It's a bronzer with a little bit of a shimmer to it. And I'm actually gonna use my same Bobbi Brown brush to apply this. And we'll just add a little bit to the cheek area. And then a little on my forehead as well. Okay, so now we'll move on to a little bit of blush. I'm gonna use this one from MAC. It's one of the Glow Play blushes in the shade So Natural. It's just a nice bronzy colored blush. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use the same brush. I really like to do this actually when I wear like a more minimal makeup look. I think if you use your foundation brush, it just kind of melds everything together because you have a little bit of the rest of your products still on your brush. So I feel like when you use it, it just kind of blends everything together. So now we'll apply a little powder. I'm going to use my Bite Change Maker Powder in shade number two. I put this in my everyday drawer, so I've been using it quite a bit, and I really like it. I'm just going to apply a little bit in the center of my face, and then just a little kind of around the perimeter. And then I will take, let's see, a little tiny eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to lightly run just a little bit of this powder under my eyes as well. Oh my gosh, does anyone else have these little baby hairs <laughs> that just kind of stick out on the side? They're like not behaving today at all. Next, we're going to use another product from Merit. This is the Merit Brow 1980, so it's a brow gel. And this is in the shade Brown. I believe it comes in three shades, blonde, brown, and black. So this is the brown, and it's in a really pretty gold package, which I love. And this I have not used before, so this will be a first impression. So you have 
just a little brow wand here. I do love a good brow gel, I must say, especially just for day to day. I really, brows are one of those things I don't really enjoy doing. I don't really enjoy filling my brows in. So if I can just use a brow gel, I will. I'm just kind of brushing them up and it definitely does make them look fluffy, which I'm definitely into that brow look. Definitely adds a little bit of color. I don't think it's a ton, I would say, but it definitely does add a little bit from day to day. Honestly, that's really all I would do to my eyebrows. I might take something and fill them in a little tiny bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of this Benefit pencil and I'm just gonna add a little bit of the pencil where my brows are like really, really sparse, which they aren't really except at the arch on this side, they're pretty sparse and kind of the same area on the left side. My eyebrows don't have that weird crusty feeling. You know what I'm talking about? You know when you sometimes apply brow gels and your brows start to feel like kind of crispy? They don't feel that way with this gel, so that's a good thing. Okay, now I want to use a little bit of this. This is also from Merit. It's called their Day Glow Highlighting Balm. And it's just kind of a little highlighter stick. This one is in the shade Kava. So they come in two different shades. Kava is one, which is the one I have. And then the other one, I think it's called Bounce. So there is Kava right there. Definitely more of a subtle highlight, which I love. They also have um, one other shade. I believe it's called Bounce. Uh, and it's a little more of a rose gold. So I want to take a little bit of this just with my finger and just tap it on my cheek. And then take some on my nose, on my cupid's bow, and my chin. So this is, again, you can see, definitely gives a little bit of a glow. I definitely don't think all of my glow is from this stick. I definitely have a little bit from that sunscreen I used, but I love the color of this. It's very, if you have a similar skin tone to me, you would probably really like this shade, but the rose gold bounce shade looks really pretty too. So there is the highlighter. It is so pretty, you guys. I mean, look at that glow. It's not chunky or glittery. It's so, so thin, which I really like. I think it would also be nice just used as a primer, like underneath your makeup. I have not tried that, but I bet it would be nice with that. I love this packaging, too. This one is kind of an off-white with the uh, Merit in gold on it. Super pretty. Okay, I turned the brightness up a little bit because unfortunately the sun is starting to go behind the clouds, sadly. But for the eyes, I want to do something really, really easy and simple. So I'm going to go in with this. This is one of the Elia Chromatic Eye Tints. This one is in the shade Fresco. It's kind of a taupey bronze. So there is Fresco right there. It's really, really pretty. What I will say about these eye tints is you have to work quickly with these. I would do one eye at a time because they set and do not move. So once you apply this and blend it out, it's not going anywhere. So just keep that in mind. If you use one of these, you do have to work kind of quickly. So I am just going to take a little tiny bit. They're also pretty pigmented, so I would definitely start out with a smaller amount and build it up if you want more. But this is just, it's a very interesting shade. It's kind of cool toned when you look at it, but it definitely has a little bit of a warmth to it. It's really, really pretty, especially if you're just wanting to do something 
quick and easy and you don't want to use a ton of different products. I love something like this. So pretty. And this brush I typically use for this type of product and it's a BK Beauty brush, of course, and it's the 205 so it's a little angled brush. I like it because you can blend with it but the angle kind of helps me kind of make this outer kind of fanned out eye shape that I tend to like with eye products just because I have um, more of a hooded eyelid. So see how pretty it is? And that was just one product that I used for that. It's crazy. Now I'm just going to take my bite powder again and I'm just going to use a little bit of my powder to diffuse in the edges on my eyes. This is another really good trick. If you ever apply something on your eye and you feel like the edges are a little harsh or you just kind of want to tone it down a little, you take an eyeshadow brush and any base powder and kind of buff it out a little. And now what I'm going to do is Take just a little bit of this. This is from La Mercier. This is one of the caviar sticks. This is the shade Coco. So this is just a really pretty chocolate brown. And again, this is totally optional, but I have this sitting here. I kind of want to use it. So I'm just going to take a little tiny bit on my la along my lash line. And again, I'm going to do one eye at a time because these also set very, very quickly. And I'm just kind of smudging this out. And I'm using yet another BK Beauty brush. This is the 204, the Smudge It brush. See how pretty that is? And it's not like a liner or anything, but it just kind of, I don't know, kind of defines your lash line just a little bit more. And these from La Mercier are so easy to blend out. I mean, truly, like this, you don't even have to be careful with it. You can just kind of roughly draw it on and then just take any small shadow brush and just kind of go back and forth with it. This is another great thing to do if you are someone that is kind of intimidated by eyeliner. Doing something like this gives you that look without having to use an actual eyeliner. Now I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and we'll do some mascara. Merit Beauty does actually have a mascara. I believe it's a tubing mascara. I don't have it to use, but I'm kind of interested in it, so I might pick that up if I end up getting a complexion stick in a lighter color. So I'm gonna go in with some CoverGirl. I've been really enjoying this, the Lash Blast Volume Mascara in the orange tube. Something about this I really, really like. I think this mascara gives you some volume, but I also think it gives some length as well, and it's very separating. I don't know if it's the brush, or what, but I never feel like it clumps my lashes together. Okay, you guys, I know I ask you this all the time, but I'm gonna ask you again. What videos do you want to see from me on my channel? Please let me know in the comments if you have a request, because uh, I always have a running list going of videos that I wanna film, videos that you guys requested and I'm constantly trying to add to that list. So if you have a video you want to see from me, please let me know in the comments. I'm gonna run just a little bit of this on my lower lashes. Okay, last but not least we have the lips and I'm first gonna use a little bit of this. This is the NYX lip pencil in, what is this, nude beige. 
These NYX pencils, you guys, they are so good. If you haven't tried these, they're like, I think they're $3.99 and they are so good for $3.99. Kind of remind me of MAC pencils. And lastly for my lips, this might be what I was most excited to try from Merit because you guys know I love this kind of product. And this is their tinted lip oil. So I have two of them. These I believe come in four shades and I have two. So this is what they look like. They're so cute and so just luxe looking. I don't know. That's just the name. That's the word I keep thinking of is luxe. So this is the shade Marrakech. Marrakesh. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. And let me do a little swatch. But you guys know I love lip gloss, lip oil, anything shiny for my lips. I'm all about it. So that is the shade Marrakesh. And then this is the shade All Natural. So there is All Natural and Marrakesh. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit of both because I definitely can't choose one or the other. So we're gonna do Marrakesh. Okay, not sure where I left off, my camera just died, but I think I was using the shade Marrakesh. So I'll just apply a little bit more. My camera overheated, which is always fun. So this is just a really pretty rose that I really, really like. And then we're gonna use a little bit of Au Naturel also. I think this is a little lighter. Not really, they just kind of mix together when you use them both. These feel so creamy but lightweight like they feel kind of like a really thin moisturizing lip balm but I just love the glossy look on my lips it's just my favorite so now that we are done I'll just take a little bit of setting spray and I'm going to use the Maybelline glass spray I don't use much of this because it's a very intense spray and that is gonna be it, you guys. Almost done with my coffee here. I really didn't need this third cup, but. So that is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. These are my favorite videos to film. I love to just sit down, not plan it out, just sit down and apply makeup. It's my favorite thing to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I did want to thank Merit one more time for sending me a few of these products to use and share with you guys. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you're interested in any products from Merit, I do have an affiliate link in the description box. If you buy anything from that through that link, I do earn a small commission, just so you know. Thank you again for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and go follow me on instagram at simply.blair thank you for watching as always i will see you next time remember simply be you bye